talk about knowledge or creativity. Welcome, Ms. Ben.
it's really not very that hard. The first part of that definition defines content is all our individual experiences, beliefs, values, information, motivation, and feelings. Everyone has their own unique content. And so it's that content that provides the function or framework for evaluating new experiences or ideas. But we have a nice diagram to identify what knowledge is as well. Along the horizontal platform of one, you see this is for understanding where you, along the course of your life, you research, absorb, do, interact, reflect, and the content serves as a vertical, and that's your gathering of parts, making connections, and so forth. So you start off in your young life gathering data and information, soon it turns to knowledge, and suddenly you have wisdom at some point in your life. Well, where does creativity fall in this? Well, let's define creativity. We'll just look at the first definition only. Creativity is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. Creativity involves two processes, thinking, then producing. If you have ideas but don't act on them, you are imaginative, but not creative. So you have to make something, produce something to be considered creative. That's a very important one. We also have a model. And basically this model is telling you there's a system for creativity to happen. We live in a culture where our rules are defined, the person thinks and develops and creates a new idea for the culture, and then it's affirmed by society. All three elements are, have to be present for creativity to happen. So we define creativity and knowledge. Let's move on to quotations to see if that helps us, helps me particularly answer the question, what's more important. Eric Schmidt, who is the executive chairman of Google, says this, this about knowledge. We have an opportunity for everyone in the world to have access to all the world's information. This has never been possible. Why is rigorous information so profound? It's a tremendous equalizer. Information is power. Albert Einstein, of you all know who he is, when I examine myself and my methods of thought, I come to the conclusion that the gift of fantasy has meant more to me than my talent for absorbing positive knowledge. Another set of quotations, one by Jeremy Taylor, who was a 16th century English clergyman, writer, and bishop. He says, knowledge comes by eyes always open and working hard. And there is no knowledge that is not power. George Lois, who is an American art director, designer, and author, he is known for his designs for Esquire, cover designs for Esquire magazine. Creativity can solve almost any problem. The creative act, the defeat of habit by originality, overcomes everything. So we've defined the terms. We have quotations to consider. Are you ready to hear what my answer is? I thought I would be too. But no, there's another element. When I thought about the question, what is important, knowledge or creativity, I started thinking about, well, what is important? And what came to my mind first, and why that was important to think, is comes from this a pillow I have at home that I put out at Christmas, where a child is sitting on Santa's lap and says, I'm not good. You know, it becomes pretty important to know your turn and know what things mean. So the the word important in that question to me means that we need to understand the context that it that that, that word would have and how it's presented. It might mean in a business situation, can a business survive on knowledge alone, alone, or does it need creativity to flourish? How about raising children? In that context, what's more important? Remember that in that two-year-old that with his incessant questioning is curriculum 
knowledge enough to divert that child away from his being stuck on like a record of lies? For me, the question is really boiled down to the question, what's more important? I mean, excuse me. If I could only choose one thing, knowledge or creativity, what would I choose? Well, in my thinking of the, the definition of creativity, it really depends that you have some knowledge to draw upon to be creative. And for that fact, since I couldn't have both, then I have to pick knowledge. But I also wondered where creativity fit in, the, in all this discussion. So I went back to this diagram. And if you think of a three-dimensional picture where while, while wisdom is on this plane, there's another plane where just as wisdom depends on knowledge, information, and data, so too does creativity. And so perhaps our next question for the future should be, what is more important, wisdom? 